7 News tracking breaking news. A fire in Jefferson County growing tonight, burning several homes and forcing hundreds to evacuate their homes. Tonight, it is lighting up the sky with an orange glow. The Lower North Fork fire now more than 3,000 acres, and it's likely even larger than that. It's burning southeast of Aspen Park in Jefferson County near Reynolds Park. We have team coverage. We start with Jacqueline Allen live at the Fire Command Center. And Jacqueline, what do we know about the homes that have been destroyed? Well, they just got a briefing here at the command center, and what we're hearing right now is they know a handful of homes have burned to the ground. I asked, is that five? A Jefferson County spokeswoman said yes. I asked, is that ten? She said probably. They are not even trying to fight this wildfire right now. They are in defensive mode, just trying to keep more homes from burning to the ground. And if you take a look at this video we shot of more flames, you can see why these are incredible flames leaping over the top of the hillside here. This fast moving fire has now burned more than 3,000 acres, 900 homes evacuated. They're even telling people south of 285 to be ready just in case these erratic winds push the flames even further or change the direction of the fire. We've talked to all of the people waiting for word at roadblocks to find out if their homes had burned, and many people are frantic just to get back to their land to get their horses and animals out of the area. Denise and Maury Gustafson just found out their neighbors. Neighbor's home is one that didn't make it. I'm so worried for the house, and he was late coming down the mountain, so I'm just glad he, I have my husband. <laughs> I'm sorry for every mean thing I ever said to you. <laughs> what can you say? It's a chance you take when you live in a beautiful place like we do. And just how dangerous is this fire? Well, we just confirmed one deputy who was helping with evacuations got caught in an area with zero visibility. He couldn't see to drive his car. He went off the road into a ditch, and other people had to come in and rescue him and just leave the car behind because he was trapped. That's one reason they're worried about some people actually staying up in the areas that have been evacuated, refusing to leave. They're worried that they're putting themselves in danger and possibly getting in the way of of first responders in the area trying to basically protect homes from this fire. We'll have more on what they plan to do tomorrow to get a handle on these flames coming up in just a few minutes. For now, reporting live, Jacqueline Allen, 7 News. And of course, the big issue today winds sending the plume of smoke east all the way to Aurora, where we received a number of calls complaining about the smoke. A health advisory issued for the Front Range late tonight, so anyone with respiratory problems is urged to take it easy, even stay indoors. Chief Meteorologist Mike Nelson tracking the winds tonight. Mike, they are calming down. And they've gone from gusting above 50 to around 20 miles per hour at the present time. But what an amazing plume of smoke coming from that fire. This is the view from Highlands Ranch late this afternoon. You can see why it's been so smoky in the Highlands Ranch, Littleton, Aurora area. Matter of fact, the smoke was so thick we could track it on Doppler radar. Take a look right down here from where the fire broke out. That line of smoke going from Buffalo Creek all the way up to Littleton, Highlands Ranch, through Aurora around 225, out to Watkins, and all the way out to around the Fort Morgan area late this afternoon. Now, as far as the winds for tonight, they'll be dropping off a little bit. Peak winds will still be quite gusty along the ridge tops, but look at those wind vectors shrinking up by early tomorrow morning and even becoming a little bit light from the east over much of the metro area. What that means for that smoke plume that's been heading out this way is it's going to start to smear out and mix all along the I-25 corridor. So tomorrow, despite sunshine, the skies are going to be rather smoky and hazy throughout much of the region. Coming up, we'll take a look at the peak wind gusts today. We get a brief break in the fire danger. I'll let you know if there's any more moisture before the end of March, but there is a big change coming up for April. That there is. All right, Mike, thanks so much. And 7 News viewer Jay Byrne just sent us this cell phone video. Well, it really gives you some perspective on the size of that fire and the ferocity of the winds. Can you hear that wind howling there in the background? This is a fire that started with more than 100 evacuations around 6 p.m., and that number has grown tonight to, tonight to nearly 1,000. Residents have two locations they can go to, Conifer High School and Chatfield High School. And 7 News reporter Marshall Zellinger continues our team coverage from Conifer High School tonight. Marshall? And this started as an evacuation center, but it has now become an overnight shelter. Residents in a few communities got reverse emergency calls. That was in Littleton, west of C-470, Aspen Park, and Morrison. Those families are now inside Conifer High School where they have access to food. I also saw them setting up cots. These families can't go home tonight. Some tell me they wonder if they still have a home. 
I talked to a lady, she said that she could tell it was crowning, she heard the trees popping. All my neighbors are packing up. I was looking at maps and <laughs> There's not a lot between us and the fire. Nervous residents don't know what's happening behind this ridge. We got everything, our pictures and cats and everything we could. Margaret and her daughter Erin live in the Silver Ranch Estates. They're among dozens evacuating to Conifer High School. The wrestling mats and music room, a makeshift small animal shelter. The patrolman told me if I'd been there 10 minutes before that, obviously he hadn't been there yet, I could have gotten in. Bill and so, Patty hit a roadblock and just missed being able to get home and pack up. They're stuck waiting and watching the ridge, just like Margaret and Aaron. Just worried about losing our house. That's all right now. A lot of memories. Yeah. A lot of memories. More than 100 families or more than 100 people are actually inside the shelter right now. They will be staying overnight as uh, small animals are accepted here. If you have large animals or horses, you're to go to the Jefferson County Fairgrounds off 6th Avenue. Reporting live in Conifer, Marshall Zellinger, 7 News.